We had somebody here from the uh, National Science Foundation, the head actually, uh, who said she wasn't a scientist and so couldn't answer any questions. And, and I, I was just curious, I asked her how many ice ages she thought that this Earth had, had been through. I mean, everything I can gather, minimum of three, uh, maximum some say from five to seven, but I just, I just wonder how many ice ages you think we've gone through? Well, again, I don't remember off the top of my head. I think the numbers you you mentioned are in the ballpark, but I would have to uh, I would have to look at the record. Uh, the Earth uh, has uh, undergone uh, climate changes throughout its entire history. The difference is that uh, for most of that history, there weren't uh, seven billion people on the planet who needed to be fed, clothed, and kept prosperous. And uh, the other difference is okay, that, that the I'm, pace of change I'm, was generally much time. slower. I'm running out of time. I, I'm aware of that. Um, you know, obviously, we've had global warming for a long time. Uh, you can't have one seamless ice age that encompasses three ice ages. We had to have warming periods between each one of those. And so that is a natural phenomenon. And, uh, you know, just because we're alive now, uh, the tectonic plate shifts aren't going to stop. Uh, the hurricanes and tsunamis aren't going to stop. The asteroid strikes aren't going to stop. These things are going on for eons, and they're going to continue to go on for eons. Um, what do you think the temperature was on Earth uh, before the uh, disappearance of the dinosaurs? There have been periods when the temperature was three, four, five degrees Celsius warmer than it is now. Uh, and um, the difference between the circumstances you're describing and the circumstance we're in now is the changes that are being imposed on the climate in substantial part as a result of human activity are faster than the ability of ecosystems to adapt and maybe even more importantly faster than the ability of human society to adapt. There are a lot of stresses, as you point out, that we can't control. But the stresses we can control that are imposing burdens on our society, we ought to think about controlling. No doubt about that. Uh, and I don't think there's anyone, I haven't heard anyone say ever from either side of the spectrum, that there's no such thing as climate change. I mean, it's, we've had climate change since the day the Earth was formed, whenever that was, depending upon whatever you believe. Uh, and we'll have climate change to the day the Earth implodes, whenever that is. Uh, the question is, how much of the climate change do you think is influenced by human behavior? The climate change we are experiencing now, the climate change we've been experiencing for the last several decades, is according to the Academies of Science, according to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, according to the view of most of the scientists who work on this, largely due to human activities. We are superimposing on slow, natural climate change, a rapid human-induced climate change. But, but as a percentage, as, as a percentage, like let's say that you, you anticipate that climate would change X amount in a year without the existence of humans on it. Uh, how much more do you think, as a percentage of the change, is influenced by human behavior? The natural changes which we understand and which are underway on a long-term basis as we speak would, if they were the only influences, be cooling the planet rather than warming it. We would be in a long-term cooling trend as a result of the natural forces affecting climate that we understand. We are instead in a warming trend which suggests that human activity is overwhelmingly responsible for the difference. We would be having cooling based on natural forces. I, I, we are I, having I warming. I remember in the 70s, that was a, that was a threat. We're going to have uh, uh, a cooling that's going to eventually freeze the planet, and, and that was the fear. Uh, that was before Gore invented, invented the Internet, you know, or, or uh, the, the other terms. Uh, I, I'd, I'd read um, that during the uh, uh, period of the dinosaurs, the, the Earth temperature was 30 degrees warmer. Uh, does that seem fathomable to you? 30 degrees sounds like a stretch to me, but I will review the uh, literature and get back to you. Thank you, Dr. Holder, very much. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh,